ओके आई नो यू गाइज माइड बी रियली मेड एट मी फॉर नॉट बींग एक्टिव ऑन माई चैनल फॉर अ रियली लॉन्ग टाइम गॉड दैट्स रियली दैट्स रियली लॉन्ग टाइम सॉरी फॉर दैट बट दिस टाइम आई विल मेक श्योर दैट डजेंट हैपन अगेन एंड आई विल ट्राई टू अपलोड न्यू वीडियोज एवरी वीकेंड ओके एंड देर विल बी सम गिव अवेज ऑल्सो so that you guys can enjoy my content more so without wasting any time let's get to the point so if you were using ryzen controller and uh, one day due to some reason you decided to uninstall it but when you reinstalled it you find out that it is not working so why why is that well the truth is ryzen controller is discontinued so even if you try to open it you will only get slash screen you do get sense of uh, ryzen control working but it is actually not working because you won't be able to apply anything so what is the thing here what do, what options we have okay so presenting universal tuning utility so what is the universal utility well that's a tool which is developed by the same team who developed ryzen controller that's a great thing right yes i know i know that's a great thing okay so it has the same functionality as the ryzen controller so let's see how we can use it and how we can set it up so to download this application you need to open your browser and search for md apu tuning utility and you will find this github page where you can download the latest version and get a zip file so once you have downloaded the zip file you will need to extract it and open the extracted folder you will find an exe file over there okay just simply like this okay just uh, right click on that you will need to click on uh, properties option then select compatibility option and there is an option called run as administrator just simply check that check box and hit apply when you will launch the app you will be greeted with the welcome message and the next tab will display the details of your apu when you will select custom presets you will notice that the universal utility has the same but more functions than the ryzen controller okay so you can uh, use the same preset as the ryzen controller and it will work perfectly personally i set the temperature to 80 degrees celsius the the vrm current to 33 amperes and the cpu boost period to 800 seconds so that's it for the video please leave a like if you find this video useful leave a comment if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe to my channel So my name is Ankit and I will see you in the next